Hi everyone. Welcome to this little mini tip on how to step your foot forward from downward dog into a low lunge a little bit easier. This movement can be very challenging sometimes, especially for beginners starting out in vinyasa yoga. You may find that it's like feels almost impossible to step that foot forward. And there's some tips and tricks that I'm going to show you to make it a little bit easier. So let's begin, or if you would like, to just watch first and notice where you might see yourself in some of these. So from downward facing dog, and in a vinyasa practice, this move is very common. You might lift your foot up, or you might just do the move from down dog. And what we want to have happen is this lifted foot to come forward in between our hands like that. Now sometimes it feels like there's not enough space, or if your belly might get in the way, or you feel like the foot is just the legs too long to come forward. You know, there's a variety of ways that you might think, just can't do it. But I'm telling you, there's a way. So one thing you might try is to use blocks. So this is the first option. So using blocks to make your arms longer is one way to start making a little more space there. You can either have the blocks on the low setting Make sure they're not going to slide away from you or the medium setting. Please avoid doing the high setting unless you have really good stable blocks, maybe like the cork blocks or very heavy blocks that you feel confident that they're not going to wobble and you're not going to fall off of them. So I'm going to start with the blocks on the medium setting, holding the block with my hand. So I'm not just having my hand on top of it where that's not real steady, not stable like that. So from here, coming into down dog, I can lift my foot up. And as I come forward, I have more room there to place my foot down. Now, if you're not using the blocks, this is usually what might happen. So from here, trying to come forward, and the foot gets stuck, usually about right here. Sometimes you can take your hand, same hand as foot, and bring it through, and then bring your hands here. But what's really great with the blocks is you're making your arms longer. So I'm on the medium setting from down dog, when I lift my foot up and come forward, I have a little bit more space there to place my foot to come into the low lunge. Now, the other thing that I sometimes see a lot is that the students aren't lifting their hips up enough. So when you lift your hips up, you're creating more space. So notice what happens when I don't lift my hips and when I do lift my hips. I'll do it without the blocks, just so you can see a little bit more what happens. So from here, downward dog, if I don't keep my hips lifted, and if I come forward into bringing my shoulders over my wrist too soon, notice how my foot is going to get stuck. I don't have enough space here to bring it forward. It's just not going to happen. But watch what happens when I keep my hips lifted, even coming onto the ball of my left foot. Keeping my hips lifted, I can start to bring my foot forward. It might still feel like it's getting stuck, but I have a little more room. So using the blocks with that in mind, I'll show with the low setting here. So from here, lifting that right foot up, coming onto the ball of the left foot, keeping my shoulders slightly behind my wrist until I can bring my foot a little further forward. 
And then the last little bit, notice what I did. I lifted my right hand onto the fingertips so I create a little more space with my right arm. And that lifts and that creates maybe a couple inches to bring that foot through. And that's what I do even with my hands on the mat. I lift those fingertips up to create more space. So I'll do it one more time with the blocks and then I'll show you without the blocks. So again from here, maybe lifting the right leg up high and then lift the left heel coming onto the ball of the left foot. Coming forward, slow motion, coming onto the fingertips of the right hand. Little more weight on the left hand, and then place the right foot down. So then you can bring your hands back to neutral, either on fingertips or your blocks, coming into that low lunge. So I'm going to turn around and just do it on the other side, because I've been doing the right side a lot, and show you how it looks with just being on the mat and lifting the fingertips up a little bit. So from here, if you're in down dog with your hands here, you're going to simply come up onto the fingertips of the left hand if you're bringing the left foot forward. So from here, down dog, you might lift that left leg up, come onto the ball of the right foot, start to bend the left knee, bringing it towards the chest, and then come up on the left fingertips and bring the left foot through. And then you might come up onto both fingertips or have blocks under your hands. And then you can rise into your high crescent or warrior one. And then maybe back to your down dog. So those are just a few tips and tricks to make it a little easier to bring that foot forward in between your hands from a down dog or a three leg dog into that low lunge. So I hope you found this useful. Give it a try and put comments down below. Let me know what works for you, any thoughts you have, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.